The recent past for Edison Tech boys soccer consists of seasons ending with a double-digit seed and a quick exit from the sectionals. They were a 10 seed in 2017 and lost 6-1 to to Victor in the opening round. The year before that, again a 10 seed, they fell 3 to nothing to Webster Thomas. Entering the final week of the 2018 regular season, A.J. Mayo's squad has nine wins and is looking at the four seed in the double-A bracket. With Malik and Mabrook and Ray, they're leaders you know, on, the, on and off the field. They you know, get everyone buying in. Um, guys on the bench are hungry to get in when they get a chance to get in. Um, and we're just doing a pretty good job of you know, making sure we do our job on the field. We're not worried about someone doing the, another person's job. We're doing, if we're playing defense, we're worried about making sure they're not at scoring on us. And if we're on the attack, we're worried about putting the ball in the back of the net. Getting to this point, though, hasn't been easy. Edison showed promise early when they handed Palmack one of its three losses on the season. But then there were setbacks to McQuaid and Greece Arcadia by a combined score of 13 to nothing. Basically, we had two tough games, uh, pretty close in the beginning of the season with McQuaid and Arcadia, where we kind of fell apart. And they're you know, up in our upper class with either a double A school or an A school. And you know, we struggled, you know, we gave up a quick goal and we just weren't buying in if, you know, with our system and holding you know, in place. So, you know, we talked as a team, you know, we had a good practice, a couple strings of wins, and then we played Webster Thomas and, you know, fought out a hard fought win. Since then, the Inventors are 6-0 and and have outscored opponents 21 to nine. We got, we just look at, that, at those games and we just learn from our mistakes and we just kept reflecting on it and we just started playing better. Uh, by working harder, yeah, formation is changing. It was the beginning of the year. It wasn't the best. When you start the year, it's not the best. You've got to know, I pretty much, most of the players didn't know each other at the beginning of the season. So after knowing each other and playing more and more, we got more chemistry and we did better. I coach formations, trying formations in the first couple games. Don't know which one is going to match the team. Don't know where the players play. Positions changing, so it's a little bit, you know, hard. Included in those wins are a shutout of league rival Wilson Magnet, victories over Gates Chilai and Webster Thomas, as well as a season sweep of state contender World of Inquiry. Before when we played them, when I was start, I just started Edison, we, we, we used to get beat by, badly by them. So winning a second time in one season, that's going to be a major goal for me. I would say maybe like our the win against 58, you know, they've been a, you know, a big rival for us. You know, we practice here on the same field every day. We see each other. You know, basically all the boys are all the friends with each other. Um, but when that whistle goes, you know, we definitely want to beat them. They've been the best for the last four years, um, and they're the benchmark. Lost in the on-field success is the efforts off the field. The current squad consists of players from five schools. Julian Cotto attends Franklin. Ray Arizamendi goes to Monroe during the day. Malik Musa and Mabruk Sala are at school without walls. Goalkeeper Samani Hussani attends Edison. They combine also with student athletes from Leadership Academy to wear one uniform on the field. The way we got five schools together, the way they come together, they support each other is quite amazing that, you know, you can bring five different schools all across the city and they can come back and play with each other and be one unit and play pretty good soccer. And the chance for a sectional win? You know, playing at home is big for us. Uh, we get it. We went out to Victor last year, and I think we got it intimidated. You know, they had a pretty good-sized crowd of student fans, and you know, we were in awe. And they scored a quick one, and after that first one, it was all over. You know, we couldn't regroup. And but now we realized we can give up a goal early, and we can battle back and you know get the win. You know, later on in the game. You got sectionals coming up. How do you feel about it? I mean. Confident, we, we could do it. We could do it this year. From the Trent Jackson Athletic Complex on the campus of Franklin High School, this is Paul Gotham with the Vision High School Sports Beat.